I'm at the site of the Eglinton Crosstown. This transit project has been in, under construction for four years now and is supposed to be completed by 2021. What's very much in doubt right now is which transit vehicles, which light rapid vehicles will be operating along here for passengers because Metrolinx, the provincial body that oversees transit, wants to kill Bombardier's $770 million contract because of delays. The case ended up in court today, but this is really a story about Toronto's mess of transit planning that's dictated by political whim and ends up being just a hodgepodge that could end up costing taxpayers millions again. Bombardier is under siege over the delayed LRVs for the Eglinton Crosstown, and it's fighting to keep the $770 million contract for the 182 vehicles and protect its reputation. Termination means that, you know, we will affect our employees, the train won't be delivered on time, it will be, have an impact on, on, on taxpayers as well. We don't feel that it's the way to go. The Canadian company says it's not to blame for this legal fight with Metrolinx. Our former mayor is. Subway, subway, subway. That's right. In court today, Bombardier lawyers argued the city's flip and then flop over the Scarborough subway versus LRT debate is what has led them to this transit mess. Bombardier says when city council killed the light rapid transit in Scarborough, it meant Metrolinx had ordered too many LRVs, and it's now trying to get out of the contract to avoid a, quote, gas plant type of scandal that almost brought down the McGuinty government. Metrolinx is dismissing Bombardier's allegations as untrue, saying in this statement the company is two years late on its pilot vehicle, adding, we've been clear, Bombardier has defaulted on its contract. But this is far more than just a legal tiff. A possible delay in launching the Crosstown as scheduled in 2021 could be a financial disaster for Metrolinx. If the vehicles aren't up and running on time, the agency would have to pay the building consortium behind the construction half a million dollars a day in damages. That's $3.5 million a week. And don't forget, that's taxpayers' money. Bombardier insists it can get the vehicles delivered on time, but this is the same company that has missed multiple targets for delivering Toronto streetcars, which is also costing taxpayers money. Why should anybody believe that you can actually handle the LRVs as well? We've been building the, those cars like over a thousand of times all around the world. We're able to do it in Toronto as well. Now, the two sides can't even agree if the test vehicle is ready. Bombardier says it has been since October. Metrolink says, yeah, but it's not working. Now, the case wrapped up in the courts today. The judge hasn't said when he will make a decision, but time is urgent here. If Metrolink has to find a new supplier for vehicles, they have to do so by April. Otherwise, there won't be anything running along here in 2021.